Hello Foundation and Key Stage 1 and welcome to our final PE lesson before the half term holidays. Today we are going to be looking at lots of the skills that we've been working on this half term and we're going to use them in some games. What activities have we been focusing on this half term? That's right, we've been looking at our multi-skills. And what skills have we been looking at? That's right, balancing. Well done, dribbling. That's fantastic, throwing and catching. Wow, you guys are amazing. Target throwing. They're the skills that we have been looking at this half term. So today, we're going to take those skills, link them together, and play some games. To start off with, we are going to play a game of foxes and rabbits. We are going to play the part of the bunny rabbits, and we are going to go on a journey trying to get some shopping. Okay? We are going to go through fields, and through forests to try and do our shopping. But there are going to be foxes along the way that are going to try and stop us. So if you hear me say, fox is coming, you've got to crouch down to the floor, tuck your head in really small and make yourself as small as possible until you hear me say, it's all clear. When it's all clear, we can carefully get back up again and carry on our journey. So, what do rabbits like to eat? That's right, they love to eat vegetables. And there's one vegetable in particular that I think a rabbit would say is their favourite. Carrots! So we are going to go shopping for carrots. So, first things first. What do rabbits like to do? How do rabbits like to move? That's right, they like to jump. Okay, so first things first, we're going to reach up as tall as we can because we've just got up and we're stretching up to the sky. Oh, and then we're going to have a little shake because we've just woken up. We want to make sure we're nice and awake. Fantastic. And then we are going to start doing our bunny hops. Off we go, jumping. Bending those knees, swinging your arms. Fox is coming. Make yourself really small. Oh, have a look around. Has the fox gone? Do you think we're safe, boys and girls? It's all clear. Let's stand up. Wow. Right. Okay. We've made it to the end of our garden. So we need to step over the gate. Okay. So hold on. You're going to step one leg over. Then you're going to step the other leg over. Fantastic. And now we're ready to go through the field. Now today, the field is really, really wet with all the snow that we've been having. So we're starting to sink into the mud. Be careful. Oh, pull yourself up again. Oh no, but we're sinking down again. Oh, boys and girls. Oh, we're just about up. Oh no, we're sinking down again. Keep your balance, don't fall over. Oh, pull yourselves out of the mud, pull yourself. Oh no, oh no. Boys and girls, what are we gonna do? That's right, we're gonna have to take really big steps and pull our legs out of the mud. Pull, 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 pull those legs right out of the mud. Oh, oh, we're starting to sink again though. Oh, keep your balance. Oh, oh, pull, pull. Pull those legs out. Oh no, we're going again. We're sinking. Oh, fantastic. Keep going, boys and girls. Oh, pull those legs out of the mud. Oh, fox is coming. Phew. That was.
was a close one. It's all clear. We can stand up. Now we've made it past the very muddy part of the field. But I'm noticing as we move around, there are lots and lots of puddles, okay? Lots of big, wet puddles. So we are going to go for a swim. Are you ready? Swim through the puddles. Off you go. Get those arms moving. Swimming through the puddles. Oh, well done, boys and girls. You're so good at swimming. Fox is coming! Look around you. Oh, I think we're okay. It's all clear. Stand up nice and slowly. Now, there are some trees in front of us, some little bushes. And we've got to try and get through them. But they're very, very thick, very dense. And it's going to be very, very difficult. I think we might end up getting stuck if we're not careful. So we're going to have to pull them out the way. Okay, so pull all of the bushes and the twigs and the branches out the way so we can step through and create a path for ourselves. Really stretch and pull all of those leaves and branches and bushes and make sure you duck down and reach up and duck down again and reach up again. Pull everything out of the way. And Fox is coming! Boys and girls, you are amazing. But it does feel like that fox is getting closer. It's all clear, let's stand up. Right, okay. This time, you can see there are some really, really big trees in front of us. What are we going to do, boys and girls? We can't get through them. We can't chop them down. You think we can swing? Let's swing through the trees, off we go. Wow, you guys are amazing. Fox is coming. Fantastic boys and girls, so good. Right. Escaped again. It's all clear. Can you see what's over there? It's a fox. It's a really big fox. And I'm worried, boys, because I think this fox might try and eat us if it sees us. We're going to have to tiptoe really quietly. Wow, we made it past the fox. And we've come to this area of ground that is really, really hot because the sun has been shining down on it, so we're going to have to use quick feet to make sure we don't burn our rabbit toes. Off you go, quick feet. Don't burn those toes, boys and girls. Superstars, it's all clear. Right, now if you check your pocket, it's not in that one. Oh, it's in this one. Take your map out. Now, can you see where the shop is on your map? Just there, where the X is. So, we're looking for the X. 
We're looking for the X. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is! There's the shop. Oh, boys and girls. Right, take your rucksack up. Oh. Open it up. Right, we are going to fill our bags full of carrots. Pick all the carrots up, bend your knees. Lift all those carrots into your bag. Fantastic, don't leave any behind. We need to make sure we've got plenty of food this winter. Fantastic, oh, I don't think they can fit any more in, boys and girls. Right, let's try and zip it up. Oh. It's really difficult. Give it a good squeeze and pull it. Oh, there we go. Right, we're going to have to try and lift this bag onto our back. Okay, you ready? On three. One, two, on three. Oh. Right, are we ready, boys and girls? Off we go. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, oh wow. Oh, boys and girls, you superstars, I don't know how you do it. Foxes, come in! Oh, wow. Right, we are going to try and make it home. It's going to be difficult, but we'll try our best. So, first of all, we've got to go over the hot, hot ground. Don't burn your feet, boys and girls. Oh, be really, really careful. Oh, oh, oh. boys and girls and now we've got to go through the puddles swimming through the puddles excellent work what's it coming close call but we're okay we're in the clear keep going swimming through the puddles Oh, and now we're in the mud, we're sinking, boys and girls, we're sinking, keep the balance. Oh, oh, we're sinking. Uh, pull, pull, pull those legs out the mud. Don't sink. Keep going, you're working so hard. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, boys and girls, we've made it back to our gate that leads to our garden, that leads to our house. So we're gonna step over the gate. One leg, step over with the other leg. And now we're gonna jump, 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 jump. Bunnies, we're home. So girls and boys, welcome to the main activity part of our session today. For this, you will need to create a maze on the floor using soft equipment that you have at home, such as shorts or socks. You can see I've created a maze with enough room for me to move in and out of the obstacles without touching them, but it's a challenge for me to do so. If they're too close, you might end up tripping over them. And if the obstacles are too far away, you might find it too easy, okay? You can always change 
the distance between the obstacles. So if you're finding it too easy, you can move them a bit closer together. If you're finding it a little bit too difficult, you can move them further away. So we have got three traffic lights. Okay, We've got an amber one. We've got a red one. And we've got a green one. Now, what does the green traffic light mean? Fantastic. It means we're going to go. So on green, you are going to move in and out of your lanes, making sure that you don't trip or bump with any of the obstacles. What does the red traffic light mean? That's right, we've got to stop. Okay, we're going to stop still and freeze as if we were a statue. And what does the amber traffic light mean? That's right, it means get ready. So for get ready, we're going to jog on the spot. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. Good, I thought I was gonna catch you out with that one. Ready? And again, boys and girls. Ready? Good. Oh, boys and girls, you're fantastic. You ready? Ready? Oh, you're so good. Ready? Let's go jogging around. Make sure you don't touch any of your obstacles. Oh, you superstars, boys and girls. Good. Ready. Off we go. That's it, don't bump into anyone or anything. Fantastic. Now, boys and girls, I would like you to watch me. And I would like you to spot something that I could do differently. Are you ready? Hmm, what could I change, boys and girls? I mean, I didn't bump into any of the obstacles, but what might happen if there were other things or other people around me? That's right, I need to move with my head up. If we think back to our dribbling, we said that we need to be able to see the ball, but also we need to be able to see where we're going. That's right. So it's really, really, really important that I move with my head up. So I can see the obstacles, but I can also see where I'm going. You superstars. Are we ready? Oh, very good. Boys and girls, you, are you sure you're not statues? Are you, are you real? You are stood so still, I hadn't realised you were real. I thought a load of statues had replaced all of the boys and girls in Foundation in Key Stage 1. You superstars, are you ready? You're so good at this. Let's go, jogging around. Excellent work. Don't bump into anything. Done, boys and girls. What are we having to change as we're moving around? That's right, we're having to change direction, aren't we? We're having to change direction so that we don't bump into anything. So what are we looking to move into? That's right, again, we're looking to move into spaces as we're moving around the area. So as we're moving around now, we, change, we can change our 
direction to make sure we don't bump into anything. But so far, we've just been jogging. What could we do now? We could change our movement. I'm thinking of a movement that helps us to move in a different direction. What movement could we do that has us moving in a different direction? Sidesteps, fantastic. Let's sidestep. See if you can have a drop in as well. Right, are we ready? Good. Ready, go. You ready? Good. And stop there, boys and girls. So now we are going to change the green cone for a skill. So to do this, you will need a soft piece of equipment that you've been using for our online PE lessons. So it could be a ball, it could be a pair of socks, it could be like I've got here, a bean bag. So on green, we are now going to do a skill. And that skill to start off with is going to be a balance, okay? And I want you to try and balance your beanbag on a different part of your body. So, I'm thinking I'm going to start off by balancing the beanbag on my head. Okay. So, on green, you are going to balance the beanbag on your body. On amber, like before, you're going to very carefully jump on the spot but you've got to make sure you really concentrate to balance your beanbag and make sure it doesn't fall off. When we're balancing, what can we do with our body to make sure it doesn't fall off? That's right, we can use our aeroplane wings, we can keep our back nice and straight, and if we think of the body part that we're balancing our beanbag on as a table, if we tilt the table, what's going to happen? It's going to fall off, you're right. So we need to keep our table really still and squeeze our body nice and tight to make sure that it doesn't wobble like a jelly otherwise. You can see my beanbags fall off. So, on green, boys and girls, you are going to balance your beanbag and try and navigate your way through your maze. Are you ready? So, First coat is going to be. Well done, well done. Ready? Let's go. Jog it on the spot. Oh, keep it balanced. Don't let it fall off. Ooh. Are we ready, boys and girls? Let's go. Moving around. Ooh. If you're finding it easy, you can start to go a little bit quicker. Make sure you don't bump or crash or trip. Make sure your bean bag doesn't fall off, but if it does fall off, don't worry, pick it up, put it back on. Ooh, very good, very good. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. You superstars. So now I want you to find a different part of your body that you can balance your object on. Oh, I'm thinking, where could I balance? Tell you what, I'm going to turn myself into a pirate, boys and girls. And what does a pirate have on their shoulder? That's right, Polly the Parrot. So I'm going to put my beanbag on my shoulder. And I have now got Polly the Parrot. You can balance your beanbag or your object wherever you want to on your body. That's entirely up to you. Are we ready? I've got to be really careful this time. I don't want Polly to get hurt. Ready? Oh, I'm going to be really careful. Make sure Polly doesn't fall off. I don't think Polly would be very happy with me. Oh, I'll try and go a little bit quicker though. 
Mm. I'm going to put Polly on the other shoulder now. Ooh. Stop there, boys and girls. You are working so well. Now I'm going to challenge you. If you think back to when we did our balancing, I challenge you to move around the area balancing your object like different animals. I want you to choose an animal now and I want you to balance your object whilst moving around your maze like that animal. Now, I'm going to show you an animal. I'm going to see if you guys can work out what animal I am. I'm going to give you a clue. I'm an animal that lives in the sea. <gasps> That's right, boys and girls. Mr Yates is an octopus. Right, I'm going to have to think of a different one now. But I want you guys at home to think of an animal that you can move around balancing your beanbag like whilst keeping it under control. You don't have to balance your beanbag on your head. You can balance it on any part of your body. I think I'm going to be a turtle and I'm going to balance my beanbag on my back as if it were my shell. Right, so I've got my turtle shell on. Are we ready? Ooh, jogging on the spot. Oh, it's difficult, it's difficult. Are we ready? Wow, boys and girls, you're doing so well. And again. Ready? Go! Oh, make sure we don't bump. Keep your head up. Oh, your animals are amazing, boys and girls. Like being in the zoo. Fantastic, and stop there. Boys and girls, you are working so well. So, this time, we are going to change the green cone from balancing to throwing and catching, okay? So we are going to practice our throwing and catching skills. So, if we're throwing with a small object like a bean bag, how many hands are we going to use to throw? That's right, we're going to try and throw with one hand. How many hands are we going to use to try and catch the beanbag? Well, we could try with one hand, but if we're finding that difficult, we can use two hands. And what shape am I making with my hands? That's right, the cup shape. Can you show me a cup shape at home? Fantastic. So this time, on green, you are going to do your throwing and catching whilst moving around in the maze. Are we ready? So, for Amber, we're going to jog on the spot and we're going to throw and catch at the same time. Ready? Excellent work, boys and girls. Are we ready? Go! Throwing and catching. Really difficult now. I'm going to watch my beanbag and watch where I'm going. Don't want to bump into anything. Wow, you're working so well. Keep going. Fantastic. Stop there. How could we make this harder, boys and girls? We could throw our beanbag a little bit higher. We could try and add a clap in. Maybe you could try catching it with one hand as well. Fantastic. I want you now at home to challenge yourself. So on green, you're going to find a way of making your throwing and catching that little bit harder. Are we ready? Jogging on the spot. Throwing and catching at the same time. That's it. Ready, let go. I'm going to tap my pocket and catch it. Oh, can I tap my head and catch it? Oh, yes. 
Boys and girls, you're doing so well. Keep going. And stop there. Fantastic, boys and girls. This time, we are going to use our... Let's see if you can work it out. I am thinking of a skill that I would use whilst moving around. I might use a stick, I might use my hands, I might use my feet, but the equipment is moving, usually a ball, as I'm moving. I'm not trapping it, okay? I'm not keeping it stuck between my feet. I'm moving with it at the same time. What is that called? That's right, boys and girls. We are dribbling. So on green now, you are going to dribble your equipment. And you can use your hands, and you can use your feet. It is entirely up to you. Are we ready? So, for Amber, you are going to... You could do toe taps if you're using your feet. You could do hand taps if you're using your hands. If you're doing a basketball dribble, you could bounce it up and down. Okay, I'm going to use my feet, so I'm going to do some toe taps. I'm getting ready to go. Are we ready? And stop. Fantastic. Well done. Keep that equipment under control. Ready. I'm tapping it again. Are we ready to go, boys and girls? Looking forward to this one. Don't crash into your maze. Ready? Dribbling. Off we go. Oh, 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 boys and girls. Oh, stop there for me. Can anybody help me? My equipment seems to have disappeared. What have I forgotten? You're right, I forgot my magical piece of string. And I've broken my string. So do I want to use big touches when I'm dribbling or small touches? That's right, I want to use small touches. Oh, Mr. Yates, shall we try again? I'm sorry, boys and girls. It's a good job I've got you by my side. We ready? That's it. Ready to go. Let's go dribbling around. Oh, that's much better. That's much better. Oh, oh, such an obstacle. That's it, oh. Oh, I think I'm going to use my hands now as well. Practice using my hands. Lots of little touches. Oh. And stop there. So, girls and boys, welcome to the game part of today's PE lesson. What skills have we looked at so far today? That's right, we recapped our balancing, our throwing and catching, and our dribbling. So what skill have we not looked at today that we've covered in our PE lessons this half term? Target throwing. Well done, boys and girls. So we are going to play a game of finders keepers in which you are going to try and collect as many pieces of treasure as you can. So, our maze is now going to turn into pieces of treasure. Are we ready? Abracadabra! Whoosh! Oh, isn't it magic, boys and girls? Look at all the treasure! No longer are they cones, but pieces of diamond, ruby, and lots of amazing different jewels. So, we are going to stand on the outside Treasure. Okay, we're going to take one, two big steps back. And we are going to use our target throwing skills to try and hit one of the pieces of treasure. So we are going to select a piece of treasure to aim for. And what are we going to use to aim with? That's right, our guide arms. Okay, our guide arms, fantastic. And what can we do with our feet? 
And remember, we put our opposite foot forwards to help us to balance. And which two ways can we throw? Oh, we could throw underarm or we could throw overarm. Fantastic. And how do we get power, that whoosh, that's going to help us hit the target? Oh, right, by bringing my arm back. So if my beanbag isn't reaching my target, then I need more power. If it's going too far, then I need a little bit less power. Fantastic, boys and girls. So, I am going to give you one minute to collect as many pieces of treasure as possible, but you must hit them with the beanbag. So, I'm aiming for this blue cone here, so choose a piece of treasure to aim for. I've chosen this one. Did I hit it? Fantastic. So I can now collect that piece of treasure, collect my beanbag, and take it back. And then I'm going to aim for a different piece of treasure. Did I hit that piece of treasure? I didn't, boys and girls. I got really close, and I know if I persevere that I will manage to hit it. But I didn't hit it this time, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to try again. I need a little bit more power, don't I? Was that better? Can I bring the treasure back now? Fantastic. So how many pieces of treasure have I collected? Two pieces of treasure. So I am going to give you one minute to see how many pieces of treasure you can collect. You can only bring back one piece of treasure at a time. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, boys and girls. You're doing so well. Keep going. Just keep going, you're so doing so amazingly well. I'm so proud of every single one of you. Keep going. Oh, not quite. I'll try again. Yay! And stop there, boys and girls. How many pieces of treasure did you manage to collect at home? Wow, you superstars. Do you think, with practice, you could beat your score? Absolutely. So what I would like you to do, I would like you to pause this video and try again now and see if you can beat your score. Fantastic boys and girls, excellent, you've worked so hard, I am so proud of you. So to finish off, we're going to see if we can link these skills together. But before we do that, how could we make this harder? Oh, we could take another step back, could we? That's a good idea. So rather than being two steps away, we could take three steps back. Two, three. Fantastic. So this time, from three steps away, you are going to try and collect your treasure using your target throwing skills. But rather than just carrying your treasure back, I would like you to see if you can balance your treasure on your head and show me a skill with your beanbag or piece of equipment that you're using. It could be a dribble, it could be throwing and catching, okay, it could be balancing. So you're going to balance your treasure and you're going to show another skill with 
your beanbag. So I've decided I am going to balance my beanbag on my foot, okay? Now, I've got to be really careful that it doesn't fall off. If it does fall off, don't worry, just put it back on. Okay, if you're throwing and catching and you do drop it, don't worry. Just carry on really carefully. If you're dribbling and it runs away from you, stop it and carry on. And now I've made it back. I can take my treasure off my head, take my bean bag, and now I'm going to aim for a different piece of treasure. I'm going to aim for that blue one there. Oh, just about. Ooh, what skill could I use this time? So I've got to balance my treasure, and I've decided I'm going to throw and catch my beanbag all the way back. Ooh, here's it fell. Be really careful. Fantastic. I'm going to aim for another one. Oh, not quite. So I'll leave that piece of treasure there and I'm going to try again. That was better. So I've, I've thrown and catched. I've balanced. What other skill could I use to get my beam back? Fantastic, I could dribble it, boys and girls. All the way back. Fantastic. So at home, I would like you to practice linking those skills together. How many pieces of treasure can you collect? And then show me a skill how you manage to get your equipment and your treasure back, keeping control of it. Keep practicing boys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed today's session and I look forward to seeing you soon.